So there's lots of controversy about the use of steroid injections at the shoulder, but one condition that we need to focus in on more is frozen shoulder. So do corticosteroid injections actually work for frozen shoulder? If you're ready to find out, let's dive in. Hey everyone, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So when a patient has a corticosteroid injection, they're given an injection which combines steroids as well as a local anesthetic, a big painkiller to try and help that patient to manage their pain. Now for a condition like frozen shoulder, the research has been building about the need for steroid injections and also crucially the timing. When is the best time to inject a patient with frozen shoulder? In the research, the theory behind frozen shoulder is pointing more and more towards an inflammatory cause that starts the whole pattern of frozen shoulder. So therefore it makes sense that steroids, a huge dose of anti-inflammatory, could be really helpful. But let's check out the research. What does the research say? So when we look at the research, there's two key take home messages. The first is that the use of corticosteroid injections for frozen shoulder is supported within the evidence. There's a big tick here that corticosteroid injections are seen to be a really important treatment method for frozen shoulder. The second take home message surrounds the timing of the injection, as it is suggested that the earlier the steroid injection, the better the results are likely to be for patients with frozen shoulder. Let's take a look at this first study from Juan An et al. in 2018. This research study looked at 339 patients who, after one month of conservative treatment without a steroid injection, did not get the results they were looking for. They were unresponsive to a month of conservative treatment. Then the authors looked at the progress of these patients across the course of the next year after they had a steroid injection. Here's what they found. The differences of outcomes in both the short-term effect at one month and the long-term effect at 12 months were greater when the duration of pain prior to injection was shorter. What that basically means is that when people had pain for a smaller amount of time before the injection was given, their outcomes were better. So therefore, the earlier the injection, the better the results are seen to be. Perhaps this is linked to the fact that the earlier the injection is provided, hopefully that inflammatory process can be slowed down and not rise as much that makes the condition worse over the period of time. So the next piece of research to show you here is this fantastic systematic review looking at all the different non-surgical options for treating patients with frozen shoulder. This is from Lowe et al in 2019 and as you can see it includes some big names such as Dr Jeremy Lewis, one of the leading researchers into shoulder pain in the world. So the main take-home message with regards to steroid injections from this review was that the use of corticosteroid injections and a home exercise program is recommended for people with a duration of frozen shoulder symptoms less than six months. I wonder if what this suggests is combining the idea that earlier injection is better with the thought process that maybe after six months, the effectiveness of corticosteroid injections is less effective. Is that because it's been too long into the condition that there's been so much inflammatory activity, too much to slow down? That's my own personal hypothesis. I wonder if therefore what we need to be identifying with our patients is who are those patients who are at risk of developing frozen shoulder or, or who have seemed to have a diagnosis of frozen shoulder. Can we get them a steroid injections earlier than six months to really make the difference in terms of their symptoms? So what does that mean for us as physiotherapists? Two key things. Number one, we need to get the diagnosis of frozen shoulder as early as possible. And that means recognizing the signs. So key signs for you to think about. You're looking for patients who are around the age of 50. We know that there is a very consistent link between frozen shoulder and the age that it presents. So we're looking for individuals between the ages of 40 to 60. If we focus in on that even more, it's between the ages of 45 and 55. So the age is critical here. We're also looking for patients who seem to have this significant sudden onset of pain and where after a period of time it appears that their shoulder gets progressively stiff. 
As a result of which, we're looking for patients who have equal restrictions in both active range of movement and passive range of movement, and it's evident that they have at least a 50% reduction in external rotation compared to the other side, because we know that external rotation is the greatest range of movement loss that these patients have. And the second point here is that we need to remember how effective corticosteroid injections are for frozen shoulder. And sometimes I find physiotherapists saying, no, 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 I don't want to put my patient forward for that. I'm going to help them with physiotherapy. We can get this better quickly. Unfortunately, we find with frozen shoulder that the manual therapy and heavy stretches isn't seen to be as effective as we once thought. And therefore, don't delay. If you feel your patient has a diagnosis of frozen shoulder, send it across to someone who might be able to review this and provide a corticosteroid injection if possible, because as we know, the earlier the injection, the more effective the results can be. So everyone, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please support us by smashing that like button. It's the number one thing you can do to help us grow the Clinical Physio channel. And if you want more from us, remember we've got our fabulous Instagram account, at Clinical Physio. Do make sure to give us a follow there for all the best resources for physiotherapists. Now, if you want a specific frozen shoulder webinar, we have a fantastic webinar on our membership platform, member.clinicalphysio.com. Link for this is in the description below where you can check out membership and our amazing frozen shoulder webinar as a part of membership. Otherwise, my name's Khaled. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.